Welcome to Blender for Blogs. I'm Justin, and this is a video series on how I use Blender to edit videos for my blog. For those of you who've been following the series so far, welcome back. If you are tuning in for the first time, check out this promo video I did that you see right here that shows everything that we will be covering. Links to it will be on the screen or in the description uh, somewhere. You know, just click it, follow it, and there you go. Um, but for now, this video is all about strip mechanics, uh, the way strips behave, especially when they are cut and when they are moved. Um, so since we are going to be cutting and moving them, uh, what we want to do is make a copy of cut to, if you've been following along so far, rename that to something. I'm going to rename it to mechanics. And that way, um, again, if you've been following along, we've had our original, we've made our cut one and our cut two. Uh, which is where we left off. I just made a copy of that, named it Mechanics. In case you are following along and you change something that's irreversible, all you have to do is just delete this and you're good. Uh, the next thing I want to point out is that I'm using 100% resolution again, uh, but you can tell it's actually not uh, that resolution. And that's because um, I'm using the proxy view settings, proxy size 25%. Now, I actually didn't make a proxy for this. And if you want more information about that, go back and watch the previous video that I did on the extra settings uh, where I talk about proxies and stuff. But uh, proxy size uh, here seems to be working okay, 25%. If I do no proxy full render, you can see that's that full resolution there. But I'm going to keep it at 25%. If you don't see these view settings, uh, it's because you have to be either in both the sequencer and the image preview or just the image preview because it is an image preview setting. If you're only, if you have these two separate in separate areas um, and you only have this selected, you're not going to see that there. You're just going to see the strip properties, but you're not going to see the image preview properties because that's in these last two here. If that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to adjust this here a little bit. Alrighty, let's get into some strip mechanics. The first thing I'm going to do is hit Shift B to box zoom in here. Control middle mouse button to just adjust that a little bit here. And a little bit more. And then I'm going to select this video strip here. Shift D to duplicate it and then hit Y to constrain it on the up and down and move it up two channels and click to drop that there. Now, there's more to these strips than meets the eye. Um, here is just a cut of an entire video. And you're probably saying to me, well, yeah, Justin, that's what a cut is. It's a cut of the entire video. No, what I mean is when I duplicated this strip into this strip, I've duplicated the entire video, not just this strip, this section. Um, and to demonstrate this, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here and show you what I mean. I'm going to hide that by pressing the N key so we have a little bit more room. And now I'm going to go to View and click Show Offsets. And now you can see on the bottom and on the top the offsets to where the rest of the video is. And if I, with this strip selected, hit G to move, grab and move it. I'm grabbing it and I'm moving the entire video that you can see with those offsets. Right click to cancel that. And to demonstrate this further, what I'm going to do with this strip selected is come here to strip and then clear strip offset or alt O for the shortcut and boom, see the whole video right here. So if I um, do shift H to hide everything that's not selected, you can see if I drag my cursor, scrub through the timeline, I have the whole entire video that I imported from the original footage. So you can see if I go to original, that's my original footage. And just as a side note, the reason that there are two video and audio files uh, for my original footage is because my DSLR camera uh, will automatically cut it off at a certain time or a certain file size. Uh, but it will con keep continuing to record, so it just splices it and makes a completely separate video. So this is, this is all seamless right here. Um, it's just the way that the camera works. Uh, but just as a side note, so you kind of understand what's going on with 
both of the videos. And that's why I have one audio file because my microphone just continually was recording through that. So, um, but yeah, going back to our mechanics, uh, that's the entire first video. And I can do the same thing here if I duplicate this and move it up and unhide that by double H and then Alt O to clear those offsets. So now I have my original footage here. And I'm actually going to delete this here and uh, create a new copy here. Shift D to duplicate, Y to move on the Y axis up, just two, just like that. And double H to unhide that. Now, as I said before, uh, I can grab and move the whole movie, the whole strip, or if I right click to cancel that, I can come in here, zoom it, box zoom, to grab one of the handles and move it. And as you can see, as I'm moving the handle, I'm opening the window of what is being seen. So I'm extending what I want shown from this whole video file. And I can do that going to the end or going to the beginning, showing the whole video file as much as I want to, to show. And if I uh, extend it beyond the offset or beyond the movie, you can see this blue line um, cuts off because that's where the end of the movie is. And what happens if I drag my cursor over it, it just hangs on the very last frame. And then after the handle, it just goes black because there's nothing um, else to show. Same thing uh, for going here. And it will hang on that first frame. So uh, I'm going to hit Alt-O to clear that offset again. And I'm going to make it the same size as it was before here. So select this strip, double H to unhide that. Um, take my mouse cursor over here, page up to line it up with the beginning of that strip. Select this handlebar, shift S to snap this handlebar to there, page up. Select this handlebar, shift S. So now we're back to the exact same position we started with. Um, and these two should be exact duplicates of each other. So now I do want to point out that there is a difference between selecting the strip. I'm going to hide this one again. Unhide this one. Selecting the strip and selecting the handlebar. And the way you can tell, especially when you're zoomed out like this, is you see that number. So um, if I zoom in here, so that's selected, and you can see the number, and the number is the frame that it ends on. So if I do page up, you can see the current frame down here on my timeline is 2514. That's because the current frame is right after the end frame of the strip, 2513. Um, if I hit page down, I'm on 1905, and if I select this one, it's 1905. And the reason this this is the same is because that is where that strip starts. So if I hit page up, this is actually going to start on the next. Um, so if there's a strip here, it's going to start on the beginning strip here. So that's why it's one uh, away from that the end strip here, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is zoom out. So if I'm just selecting the strip and I grab and I move, you can see the whole video moves. But if I cancel that and I just grab a handlebar and grab and move, then the video itself is not moving, but the it's just extending how much of the video I'm showing. So if I grab both of the handles, you can see both of those numbers are highlighted, and I hit G and I'm grabbing them, I'm also not moving the video file. I'm just moving the window of where I want the video to be shown. So see, it's shown now it's now these frames are going to be shown instead of these frames over here. And if I extend it past, <laughs> it's kind of has a little bit of a weird effect, but uh, we don't need to do that. So just remember that um, there's a difference between selecting the strip itself where you don't see any numbers and then selecting these handles. Now, if you select the strip itself and you don't see the numbers and then hit G, you're going to see all of the numbers. And that's okay. Um, you're, you're still moving the whole video there. Um, it's just that initially when you select it, 
and you see those numbers and you don't see any other numbers, that means you've got the handles selected and you're going to be moving the handles instead. Okay, so I'm going to clear the offset now, Alt-O, and we're going to look at what happens when we cut. I'm going to put my cursor right here so we can clearly see this area, and I'm going to hit K. Now, we technically haven't actually made a cut. What we've done is made a duplicate of the entire video and moved the beginning and end handles. And to show you this, I'm going to grab this on the Y, bring that up, and you can see um, the offset here to the beginning and the offset here to the end. So if I drag this, I can drag this all the way out to the beginning uh, or drag all this all the way out to the end. Or if I clear those offsets to each of these, now I have two entire videos of the same thing. And this is what's known as a soft cut. And so a soft cut kind of reverse engineered looks like this. It makes a duplicate and then it drags the beginning handle here to the timeline cursor and the end handle here to the timeline cursor and then merges them together. That is what a soft cut is. And all of the cuts that we've done already have been soft cuts. And a soft cut is what makes it possible to select both of these handles at the same time and move our cut. Uh, because essentially what we're doing is we're just, you know, it, um, reducing what we see in this duplicated, duplicated video, and then we're extending what we see in this duplicate video. Uh, but we're doing it together. Um, and a cool thing here is if I drag this out and select this handle and this handle, hit shift S, then they will both snap right there to that uh, timeline cursor or playhead, whichever one you want to call it. But And this is actually really easily demonstrated with uh, audio. So if I duplicate this audio up a little bit, we're going to go up here and then double H to unhide, Alt O to uh, clear the offset. And if I make a cut here, soft cut, just hitting K, you can see uh, the waveform, if I select these two handles, the waveforms are staying in place. I'm just sliding these. And if I select this one and move it up to the top and drag this over, drag this over, you can see they're exactly duplicated and on the same exact frame as each other. Now I do want to point out that um, you can't drag the handlebars beyond audio like you can do with the video strips um, just because there is no audio that exists. You can't um, extend a wavelength <laughs> um, but you can extend a, a, a video frame. So okay let's delete those and come back down here. I'm going to delete one of these and select this one, Alt-O to clear that offset. So now we're going to look at hard cuts. In order to make a hard cut, you're going to want to hit Shift-K. So Shift-K is hard cut and basically what that does is an actual real cut. So these are not duplicates of each other. There is an actual sever of the video strip. And you can see that by hitting G and Y to move that up. And you can see there is no offset this way or this way in this direction. And if I try to extend that here, you can see there is nothing over here. And it just hangs on that first frame that you see here. So same thing down here. If I extend this, there's nothing out here. But I can drag this in, and you can see there is an offset here from where we cut it. And then if I move this here, and then if I clear the offset, it'll just go back to where I cut it. Same thing here. And you can see that offset ends at the cut. So that is what is called a hard cut. Now you got to be careful with hard cuts because once you cut, um, 
unless you undo, you can't ex uh, clear that offset. Like I said, uh, if you do a clear offset on this one, um, nothing happens because that's only to clear the offset that you actually that actually exists. So, um, so yeah, just be careful. But what you can do, you can actually make a freeze frame. So if I come down here and I select this handlebar and then I select this entire strip. So let me zoom out so you can see what's happening here. If I hit G, I'm moving the handlebar of the first strip, but moving the whole strip on the second strip. Um, but I'm extending out that frame where I made that cut. So it looks like this. And then as the time goes, it's like a freeze frame. So this is good with action shots. So if you have some somebody jumping up in the air, you can freeze it. Uh, like right there, if I hit play, that might be a little too long. Let's zoom in here. Let's go here. Hit play. Boom. What's up, thug life? <laughs> you know, something like that. So I'm going to delete these here. Uh, select all by hitting A and then double H to unhide them. And you can see, um, like I was saying before, all of these are soft cuts because you can see all of the offsets. And if I drag these up, you can see each of these is an entire video that's duplicated, but the area that's shown, the little window, is just in a different spot for each of them. And that's the way we want it because we want to be able to adjust the uh, handlebars to each of these. And this is going to be really important in our next video when we do our second cut. So now that we know more about our strip mechanics, let's get on to our second cut. See you in the next video.